How's it going everyone? Be humble here and welcome to our Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin playthrough. Right now we're just playing the trial version since that's all that's out. The full release version will be coming next week on July 9th and we will for sure be doing the whole entire playthrough of this game. <laughs> I'm super excited to be playing this because Monster Hunter Stories is actually how I actually got introduced to Monster Hunter series in general. Um, I, have he I had heard of Monster Hunter before, I uh, didn't really get a chance to play it, uh, didn't have a lot of friends that played it, but I had saw Monster Hunter story on the uh, 3DS I think it was and was like this looks like Pokemon, I want to try it because it's a very turn style based game where you're befriending the monsters and not killing them. So that started my love for Monster Hunter and then have then played a couple more Monster Hunter games from that. So I'm super excited to be kind of going back to my Monster Hunter roots here. <laughs> and already I can tell the graphics on this game look so good. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get into this because I am so excited. Uh, so we're going to do a new game here. Let's see where the story takes us. Oh, we got character customization. Oh, the girl looks so pretty! Oh, I love the outfits! Okay. Okay, we're gonna be going through some character customization here for sure. Oh my goodness. I am probably gonna edit a bunch of this out because I will be here for a bit. <laughs> I gotta imagine if I did this. Oh my gosh, that is so tempting to do this eye style. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, got my character all set now. She looking cute. Her name, of course, is Be Humbled, because that's who we are. Let's confirm and get this journey on the go. I am so excited just to see what the storyline of this, um, like this the premise of this is and what time period it kind of takes and <laughs> compared to like original the original monster hunter stories game i'm very curious where this kind of falls in that timeline oh so pretty oh, this has got some like final fantasy crystal chronicles music going on right now <laughs> i love it Show the power. 
so glad. You're still alive. was intense. <laughs> what is this? This is a bad sign. Was quite intense. <laughs> uh, sorry for not speaking during a lot of that, but I was just absorbing myself in that little clip there. <laughs> uh, so I got Mahana Village here. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I enjoyed this so much. So, I mean, those are stables. the sacred mountain without our permission why a dangerous rapalos lives there don't you think you should have mentioned that what do you mean dangerous the rapalos that inhabits the sacred mountain is guardian rafa he protects this island huh the people it injured might say otherwise that's that's because you raised your weapons at him so you're saying we should stand before a monster unarmed this is a rider's island Brandishing weapons at Guardian Rafa is an unforgivable act. Hmm. Have you all lost your collective minds idolizing a wild Rathalos? Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Kane is right. Besides, there are children listening. Please calm yourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Well, then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? 
Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Ray's Wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm. Yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the wings of ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, Arathlos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. But, but, that's, that's only a legend, right? Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. All right. So we know from the trailer is that that raised wing Rathalos isn't that egg that that girl took. Hmm. You want to join the expedition too? Oh yes, I do. He looks like the king from higher know, this could be dangerous. Than, uh, and Breath this of the kid Wild. only just became a real rider. <laughs> You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? That makes sense. He was your grandpa's monsty after all. Oh, I love how they call them monsty still. Oh, there's an auto advance option. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. I bet he'd know what to do. You'll join the team. Sweet. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Not to worry, Kana. You'll go together. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of and what you must do as a rider. Let's do it. So I'll be a teacher? Something wrong? Well, honesty, man. No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbie. All right. I do love her hair. I love first the armor first. effect on her hair. <laughs> Go change into your rider gear. Yay. Do I get cool armor like you? Oh, yes, I do. I think this is technically called the bone oh, armor. Wow. If I you recall. look the part already. This looks very, very uh, familiar to the bone armor. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. Okay. Let me get some action in here. Birth of a rider. This is ominous red light flashes in the night of the festival, blah, 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 blah. So it's up to us to go investigate. All right. Use L and R. Yep, use A to talk. <laughs> All right. So we have a house. Oh my god, it's just like the markers from the original 3DS game too. Oh, I love it. <laughs> look at us, we look so cool. So where is my house? That's the first question. Nope. I'm assuming it'd be a very noticeable house. <laughs> is it this one? Nope. Is this my house? No. Eh, we'll figure it out at one point. <laughs> Maybe it's the one with the white curtain. Nope. Nope. Uh, I have to go over here. Look at all this. <sighs> yes, I know she wants to talk to me. Oh, there's a quest board we cannot interact with yet. Newbie. You'll be fine. 
You've got Red's jeans, don't you? Not to mention, I'm not gonna lie, every side. time she says Red, sure I think to become of a Pokemon. Top -notch in no time. <laughs> like, trainer Red. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. Which reminds me, you still don't have a monstie, right? Then the first step is to go out and hunt for an egg Ooh, that'll hatch one. Do I get the hunt for an egg? You can use one of my monsties during your search. Ooh, okay, okay. It's probably gonna be the same starting monster for everyone, but we'll see. He's a bit wild, but once you get the hang of riding him, Aww, he won't be my friend. I believe that's a Velocidrome, if I remember correctly. You know, newbie, seeing you takes me back to the time when I first rode a monstie. I wonder what her monster is. Anyway, enough about me. There's something very important I need to tell you. Monsties are like an extension of our bodies, you know? They take us wherever we want to go. But they're not to be manipulated. They're living creatures. You could even say they're our best friends. You need to care for them. And always remember to show your gratitude. Okay. As long as you understand that, you're set. Here, take this. Your rider's notes. In it, you can find helpful info about monsters and all the rider fundamentals. All Try right, opening got our the notes. menu to read all of your notes. Now that we've got that settled, it's time to go egg hunting. Yes, I can't wait I'm so excited. I want to go egg hunting. So, in this game, if you haven't played Monster Hunter Stories, the original one, there's dens and stuff you have to go into and basically take eggs from nests. Uh, which the giant monsters are guarding so they'll probably go through all this but I'm so excited about this for some eggs all right so main menu is basically x and basically writer's notes are just controls and everything for the game so all right i am so excited Ooh, quick heal what does that mean that's a new option Ooh, that's a Ludroth. Just sleeping. Oh, look at that Ludroth. He's so, so handsome. It's a loyal Ludroth, technically. <laughs> oh, but this game looks so pretty. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the full release next week. <laughs> oh, this looks so pretty. <laughs> It's so nice to see this like on the Switch compared to like just the 3DS and what the 3DS was able to do. <laughs> like the, the graphics are so much better now. But let's see if we can quickly go e get an egg in this episode. All right, in the south, Kamara Forest, that's where we're headed. All right. It's all the way over there. Uh, okay, press by the mount. All right, I was just about to do it. Hey. Oh, he jumps. Hey, I got a little jumping boy. Is there anything I can gather? No, not supposed to go this way, but whatever so there's basically materials and stuff laying around the whole area here like this is honey for example so you want to collect these materials when you see them especially in the beginnings of the game here all right I gotta fight some monsties I think these are apatops I forget what they're I forget what they're called the names of these monsters are gonna be so hilarious because I'm so bad at pronouncing monster names. Uh, okay, so basically the mechanics of this are you have to basically outplay your opponents in their attacks. So there's speed, technical, and power um, styles. So you basically are playing rock, paper, scissors in some cases to beat monsters. And of course you want to get the one that beats the other. So I think Apatoffs are power. So I'm going to go 
Spid. Oh, why don't you want me to use a power attack? Oh, come on. But I uh, know <laughs> they, they use power attacks, see? Kena, Kena, come on. Let me, let me, get, let me just use the attacks here. But this is basically what I was just explaining. So three attack types, power beats standing ball, technical beats speed, and speed beats power. Yep, that's basically what I just said. <laughs> Can I please, please use my speed attack? And basically the yellow line, like she's explaining, is like where the target is intending to hit. So since I see the line, it's gonna go into me. But let me do that speed attack. There we go. Slice that monster. <laughs> Okay, listen, this thing can't have that much health. It's like... It's like a basic monster. Uh, okay, so you can do double attacks when you have a high enough kinship gauge. So, let's see. So we have enough... There we go. The Velocidromes usually use speed attacks. So it's always good to know what type of moves your monsters typically go for because you can't control what moves they select. So we got a ton of stuff, we got some monster bones, got some meat, which is a little gruesome. <laughs> a little gruesome to think about. Right. Yeah, so herbs, if I recall, are what usually you use to heal. And then by crafting certain things, uh, I think it's herbs and honey and the usual, the main games, that create potions. But you can create different items and stuff, of course, as you level your, or as you get different uh, inventory. I'm going to be so sidetracked during this playthrough. <laughs> So there's a bunch of monsters, she said. Where are they at? There's some honey. Oh no, that's snake ray lava. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just like running around because I want to collect all the items. <laughs> So they're both targeting me. They both usually use speed, so I'm gonna go to that level. Ouchie. Uh, did you give me herbs? Ah, she gave me some herbs. Nice. Again. Keep it's about to say if it's not dead now. <laughs> oh, how many attacks it's gonna take? Also, Kana, you're not doing nothing. Are you gonna help me, Kana? <laughs> Alright, so we can finally use our kinship skills here. So basically that you can get on your monster and do some extra damage with kinship. Ooh. Oh, there's different like attacks in this. Interesting. Okay, there's different inherent skills. Ooh, that's new. You did it! Got into the level there. That's cool. Some items. Usually the monster parts and stuff help you craft uh, new weapons and armor and stuff. And 
this where I have to go? Cross the liver. Okay. Oh, okay. So each monster kind of has like a riding action or some sort of unique ability you can use outside the field. So I forgot that the Lost Drums have jumping powers. Bam. All right, anything interesting new over here? Yes. Uh, definitely I'm going to be collecting all the things, especially starting off. <laughs> Super helpful to have all that. Something's about to happen. You. Hold on. Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? Oh, you. You're not a young cook. Cool oh, cool yaku. But what in the world <laughs> is it doing? There's an egg. You know there's a giant bird monster behind us still, right? <laughs> what, what exactly are you? You look like a feline, but... somehow different. Yeah! With my whip beyond compare and unparalleled flair, you're absolutely right! I'm not like other felines now that you mention it. I'm the legend, the feline hero. That's right, I'm Naviru! Uh, I've actually seen Naviru? Naviru's paw pads now. Um, <laughs> That's I've very never interesting. I've heard of any feline hero. Look out! It's back! Persistent Kulu, class B! Hey, buddy, you're a rider, right? Huh? How about you take care of this bumbling bird? No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry. I'll be right here to lend a helping paw. <laughs> Such confidence, never. Well, looks like it's time to ride on. Ride. Uh, uh, uh. Battle. All right, so probably beat try to beat this guy. But I'm calling an episode after that. I do not know because this wasn't in the original story, so I don't know if it's gonna be more of a technical or. I guess it's technical. It is a Okay, at least she's fighting with me this time. Oh, Ramon, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no, no, no. Actually, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, did it use like a special attack on me? No, it targeted her. Okay, now it's targeting me. Yeah, yeah. Slash. Okay. Alright, can I use any type 
types of skills here. Let's do that. It's, it's getting a rock, guys. It's getting a rock. <laughs> And that rock is still there. <laughs> okay, I just got a hammer mid fight. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can switch different weapons? Okay. Switch weapons. Wow. I was not expecting that. Break that rock. Oh, interesting. So the different weapon types do different things this time. Okay. Oh, Insect Glaive in this game? Yes. They only had a couple weapon types in the original game, but it seems like they have a lot more in this one, which I'm so excited. That's so interesting that you can switch weapons between in the match. That's that's so interesting. Um try to talking about the party part. Okay. That's not where I'm going well, so <laughs> To <laughs> yeah, I wanted to. Okay, Navaru. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally broke. <laughs> Down, all right. Ooh, oh my god, the way this game is is so just so beautiful. <laughs> look, look, look at these effects. Thank you. That ends back up. Get on our monster. So basically, there's different levels of kinship. The stronger the kinship, more damage you do, of course. And once you kind of use the kinship skull, you have to get off the monster. So you kind of be very careful in what you do. And if you get like dis disadvantage in the battle a certain number of times, you get them automatically kicked off, if I recall. <laughs> Kinship stuff? Okay. Ooh, double kinship skill. Ooh, look at those. Look at those little acidrome. This'll put you out of commission. For a shield of velocidrome and on a boss of prey. I really don't know. That is a huge explosion from some kicks. Sweet. You smashed it. All right. Well, we got a ton of items, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, and then we'll pick this up in the next episode, and we will continue to go through uh, the trial here as far as we can until uh, it says we can no longer continue the story. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, stay kind and be humble.